Today, Vice President Harris is in Michigan working to shore up the blue wall, her simplest path to winning the White House. Nearly 2.8 million people have already cast ballots, and early in-person voting ends today. NBC's Yamiche Alcindor joins us from Detroit. So, Yamiche, what are you hearing from inside the Harris campaign? And I know you spoke with the vice president earlier this week. Well, good morning, Kristen, from Battleground, Michigan. The Harris campaign is feeling cautiously optimistic as the vice president delivers a closing argument centered both on attacking former President Trump as a danger to democracy and on outlining her optimistic vision for the future. And this week, in an exclusive interview with me, Harris said if elected on her first day as president, she would put forth a package of bills centered on lowering the cost of living for Americans and that the economy will be her top priority. Meanwhile, senior Harris campaign officials say their internal data shows they are winning battleground voters who have made up their minds in the last week by double digits. Still, Harris is doing everything possible to avoid the blue wall crumbling like it did in 2016. Hence, today, she's here campaigning in Detroit and East Lansing. A Harris aide also tells me they have a big operation focused on Dearborn, Michigan, which has a significant Muslim community in the state. That source said Harris has, quote, meaningful support from local leaders there and some national Muslim groups. But Harris campaign events have been often interrupted by pro-Palestinian protesters, calling attention to the civilian death toll in Gaza. So there is still a question of whether those voices will negatively impact her by staying home or voting third party. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.